Hi guys, welcome to the DIY residence. Today I'm super excited. I have five different farmhouse style bathroom decor project that I want to share with you. I kept my best for the last, so you don't want to miss that. Please keep watching. For the first project, I'm going to use one of these uh, tomato cages that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to pull out one of the loops here. So I'm going to use the second size which is the one in the center. Um, this video is much longer than my usual videos just because I have many uh, projects and many decor pieces um, that I'll be showing in this video. So make sure you stick to the end because my favorite one of all will be the last one. What I'm going to do is to take a piece of form board as well that I got from Dollar Tree. This is a piece that was left from a different project that I did. And then I'm just going to place it on top and use a pencil just to uh, mark the, the size and the shape so that I know how big of a circle I need to cut. And then I'm going to use a utility knife and just cut out the circle that I just made. And then I'm going to use this um, copper or dark brown color um, a spray paint from the brand Krylon and I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it and let it dry. Now while that is drying, I'm going to take a ruler and just draw some lines and those lines I'll be painting them in brown just to make the board look more like a wood texture and just to give it some more details. And then I printed this word, the word bath, using my regular printer. And then what I'm going to do is to take a regular HB pencil and I'm going to um, just um, shade behind the letters just to make sure that everything is covered. I'm going to shade it really well. That way it's going to be easy to transfer the letters on the foam. I've done this technique um, various times before on my channel just to help out those that does not have a Cricut machine or a silhouette to do this project and to make sure that everything is budget friendly and you can do this um, really in inexpensively. So once you have shaded everything, you want to place it on top of your foam board and just trace the letters using your HB pencil. After you've done tracing, as you can see, you can really see the letters on the foam. I'm going to take this jumbo uh, sharpie that I have at home. I'm just taking your time, you want to trace everything and fill the center. You can also use this, uh, do this by using um, black acrylic paint with the small paintbrush. After tracing all the letters, I wanted to take this um, antique wax by Art Minds and I wanted to uh, shade a bit more the foam because I thought it, it looked a bit plain. So I'm going to um, just dry brush a little bit um, just to give it again a bit of texture and then you'll be seeing later that I'll go over that with a bit of a white just to uh, make the lines less apparent or almost like a, a shade instead of seeing strokes. Once I was happy with how my foam board looks like, I'm going to take this um, loop and then I'm just going to attach it to the foam using hot glue. And because it's not heavy, I just use a small piece of command strip and I was able to stick it on the wall. And let me show you how it looks like when I had it up on my wall. Today's video to take part of uh, Heidi Sambo's DIY challenge that she hosts every month on her website. Please make sure to click on the link below so that you go and check her out because she has the most amazing ideas that you'll find. For the second project, I'm going to use this wooden box that I got from the Dollarama. I'm going to use the base for this project. I'm also going to use my electric drill with the drill bit and I'm going to make two holes on on either side of this box. I'm going to do to make sure that everything is um, the same on both sides. I'm just going to take a ruler and mark where I want the, the holes to be and then I'm just going to use my drill bit to make some holes. I then took some of that antique wax again that I used for the first DIY project and I'm using a makeup sponge that I got in a pack at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna stain um, this whole um, uh, 
uh, wood wooden piece using that antique wax I love this color and it's really not messy to paint uh, like with the with acrylic paint sometimes so this is very simple for the center of this box I'm just using some plain white acrylic paint that I got from the dollar store and I'm using a paint brush just to paint the inside of this box I'm also going to take some of the white acrylic paint and give some dry brushing on the outer side just to give it some dimension and to give that farmhouse a rustic look and I think it turned out super beautiful. I'm going to take some of these uh, styrofoam bowls that I got in a pack at the dollar store and I'm going to use it as pedestal just using uh, some hot glue. I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue and then hold it in place till it dries out. Once that's done, I'm going to use the same antique wax from um, Art Minds and I'm going to use the same sponge, uh, makeup uh, sponge and I'm going to stain the styrofoam bowls as well just so that it ties in with the rest of the, the piece. If you're joining my channel for the first time then welcome to the DIY residence. I upload new videos every week and I share the many DIY projects that I do in hopes to inspire others to do crafts as well. So if this is something that interests you please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss on any of my upcoming videos. Then once everything was dry, I took this jute cord that I also got from the dollar store and I'm going to loop it inside. And then once you have it inside, you want to make a knot and pull it really hard to make sure it's not going to unfold. And that's it you guys. This is how the project turned out. You can use it just to put some planters above the toilet or on a floating shelf uh, with more items in it. I love how it turned out and I hope you enjoy this one as well. For the next project, I'm going to use some uh, scrap piece of wood that I had at home. So here, I'm going to use this ruler um, that I have that comes from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use the length of the ruler to make sure that all the pieces are equal. And I'm just going to put a line where I want um, to cut the wood. I'm then going to take my miter saw and I'm going to cut the three pieces um, by taking the miter saw outside so that I limit the amount of uh, uh, wood dust that I'm going to get. Once I've had the pieces cut to size, I'm going to take one of the sanding blocks that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to sand away the edges just to make it look more neat and more polished. I'm then going to use my favorite uh, Minwax Dark Walnut Stain and using a paint brush I'm just going to paint um, or stain the pieces of wood. I'm not going to stain the back of the wood, I'm just going to stain the front as well as the four sides and once it's uh, stained I'm going to let them dry before I proceed to the next step. Uh, stain had the trying to dry. I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to dry brush just to tie in with the rest of the pieces that I did for this project. You want a dry brush just to give it that rustic farmhouse look uh, and to get some dimension. Once everything had the time to dry, I'm going to take some of these finer jute um, that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some hot glue just to secure it in the back and I'm going to freehand and just freestyle it and uh, wrap around the jute on the sides of the board just to give some, uh, some decor and some additional interest to these boards. So that's what I'm going to do here. I don't necessarily have a, um, a specific pattern for this but I'm just going to go um, as I think it would look good. So this is what I'm going to do for all of the three pieces. Once that's done, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to freehand uh, some words on these uh, boards. So here I'm writing the words relax and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the, the boards. I'm just going to have a wording on each of them and then I'm going to go over on the top using some white acrylic paint. And that's all for that project. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is how they all turn out to be. I think it looks super rustic and it speaks the farmhouse vibe. If you enjoyed these tutorials so far, please help me and help my channel by leaving this video a big thumbs up. And let's move on to the next tutorial.
This project is very easy to do and can be done very quickly so I'm just going to use this um, canvas that I got from the dollar store and I want to save um, the canvas so I'm using a utility knife and I'm just going to um, uh, cut around so that I can freely remove the canvas paper. Once you have the piece of canvas removed, um, I printed out a sign, a bathroom sign uh, using my regular printer and what you can do uh, for this is you can uh, do the same technique as you did before in my previous uh, DIY project just by shading in the back and transferring it or you can put it on top and just trace the picture but what I'm going to do is to bring the canvas sheet over to my printer and I'm going to print the picture um, uh, on this uh, canvas sheet so that's what I'm going to do and it previously always worked for me with my printer I then took the same antique flax and I used and then I'm gonna stain the full frame uh, using this antique wax just to tie in with the rest of the decor pieces that we did so far. I'm gonna uh, then take the printout that I uh, just printed from my regular printer and I'm gonna stick it to the back of this canvas frame using some hot glue and that would be it for this simple project. It's very simple and easy to do but it looks super elegant with the bath sign that we did at, in the first DIY project. And this is the final look. You have a rustic farmhouse bathroom sign for less than five minutes and that you didn't have to break your bank and this is how they look both together. So for the final project that I kept for last I'm gonna use this gift box that I got from the Dollar Tree and using a pen I'm just gonna mark where the lid touches the box because this is very important for this project. Once that's done I'm gonna take this nautical um, jute rope that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is the thicker version and I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to glue it all around uh, in the bottom of this uh, gift uh, box and I'm going to go all the way up until my pen marking. This is very important because then that's the only way uh, you can make sure to um, be able to close with the lid and that it's not going to uh, interfere with the lid closing up the box. Once I was done wrapping the box with the jute cord, I took some white acrylic paint and I painted the lid as well as the little portion uh, on top of the jute. You can definitely leave uh, the border with that, uh, with that color because uh, it looks really like a bohemian or a boho decor piece. But here I wanted to uh, paint it white just to make it look more uh, fresh and more bright. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the borders here as well as the top of the the lid of this uh, gift box. Once that was drying uh, I took these uh, wooden knobs uh, that I had that I purchased from Michaels a while ago and again I'm using this antique wax from Arts Mind and I'm gonna stain the knobs I ended up painting two coats of white acrylic paint on the lid and then once the knob is uh, dry I took some um, hot glue and I'm gonna glue it to the center of the lid just to get and make it like a handle and to complete the look. I think it looks super cute with that addition of the knob and here for me because I won't be placing heavy stuff um, the hot glue works well but in case you want to make it uh, more secure what you can also do is um, to put in a screw from underneath and you can just use um, the electric drill or a hand um, uh, screwdriver just to uh, put that in but what I'm going to do here is just to use my electric uh, drill and um, to screw in uh, one of the screws. And that's all for this project. Once you have secured your knob you've completed the project and let me show you how this beautiful uh, display or beautiful uh, containers look like once it's all done and you can put anything that you like and display it in your bathroom. I, look, I think it looks super beautiful and so elegant. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Until next time, bye bye! Stay safe everyone and thank you so much for watching.